What is going on mobile gamers that want to play Java Minecraft with Amethyst and they want to use some sodium? Today, I'm going to show you how to do that. But before we get into this, a little disclaimer. The developers of Amethyst and the developers of Sodium, which you see right here, don't like each other or something. I don't know if it's they don't like each other or they don't like the fact that there's people that always bug people of Sodium or what the whole scenario is. The whole thing is that the developers of Sodium and the developers of Amethyst will not help you within their discords with Sodium related issues. If you have an issue with Sodium not working with Amethyst, then that is all of your own to try to figure it out. Or you can jump over to my discord. I'll try to give you some tips, but honestly, I'm not really here to be your one-on-one -on -one support. I'm here just to show you how to use it. Now, it's the only thing to note though because that part is very much i'm not gonna be responsible if people are like oh this guy told me well no i didn't tell you i told you right at the beginning do not ask for support or help from jelly squid and discord or the amethyst team they'll tell you right up front we don't support this and this is just because there's issues with some devices i've used sodium because i want to use shaders and shaders work and also it helps with a little bit of a performance boost if you put the right mods and the right mods well there's a lot of them there's lithium there's immediately fast there is uh, dynamic fps sodium extra which helps with other stuff there's also modern fix for lower end versions there is a whole bunch of stuff Resus sodium extra options which allows you to show the fps on screen turn off certain things and access certain basically certain features that java minecraft doesn't allow you to access by default but sodium unlocks some of that stuff and that's what i use it for and that's why a lot of people use it now if you listen to that entire disclaimer we can jump into amethyst and we can basically install fabric or neoforge okay because neoforge uses sodium as well so if you didn't watch my very first video where I taught you how to set up fabric or set up horror craft or even my video about fabulously optimized, then go do that now because there's a whole playlist about how to set up your amethyst launcher on your Android device so that you can play Java Minecraft, which is your logged in account that owns the game. If you don't own the game, you'll only get demo mode and demo mode doesn't allow you to do much. Now we're going to click on create new profile. I'm going to click on fabric profile and I'm going to use, I'm just going to use 1.21.9 because I know it works for that. I haven't checked out 110 yet and click install. Okay. Now that's your fabric profile. Now, if you didn't watch my video about how to set up your fabric profile, then go do that now because you're going to be a little bit confused about what I'm about to do. I'm going to create my custom path and I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to name this sodium mod pack okay and yes i'm using a mouse and keyboard because it's a little bit easier for me to do that and click on create and click on select this folder now i'm going to make sure that i'm using the proper render okay sodium requires you to use mobile glues 1.17 or above now sodium for 1.20.1 also requires a certain basically JVM argument. How do you do that? Well, you go to the pencil icon and then you copy and paste that JVM argument in here. And I'll put that JVM argument in the description below. It's only 120.1, so don't worry about it if you're trying to use Sodium for later versions. Now, click on play because we're going to have to preload all those folders and those files for us to be able to put the mods in the mods folder. Now you can click on quick game and then you can go to Modrinth in your web browser. First thing you need to download is the Fabric API. Fabric API is very important. So download it, select the game version. And of course we're doing 1219 and download that file. Go back and download Sodium. So we're gonna go all the way back until you see the mods page at the top, click on Sodium and click on download. Now, of course you need to make sure you have the proper loader and also as you can see here it doesn't exist for neoforge yet so if it doesn't exist for neoforge as of 1219 then i guess you can't use it for obvious sakes now we're going to click back again and back 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 again and back now you're going to search for a mod that mod is going to be called podium now this mod is only required to be used with sodium with neoforge and or fabric okay and that's the only reason why you need it so 1.21.9 and i guess it does have it for uh for 1210 uh, as well so click download download again if i already have it downloaded that's perfectly fine 
Now I'm going to close out of everything. I'm going to go to Open Game Directory and Amethyst, and you should be able to see your Sodium Mod Pack right here. And if you go into your Sodium Mod Pack, you should see a folder called Mods, and we don't have anything in there. Now we're going to go back to our Downloads folder, which is in our device name. Scroll all the way down to Download, and you're going to click on your three dots. Click on Sort by Modified Newest First. This is the easiest way to find the files that you recently downloaded, and basically highlight all three of these files right here, which are this one, this one, oh, I forgot I'm using a mouse and keyboard, and this one. Right click on it or copy it basically and go to your three lines, go to Amethyst, go to your Sodium Mod Pack, which is right here, go to your Mods folder, which is down here, and paste it, okay? Now, we're going to close out of our file folder and we're gonna click play again. And basically we're gonna be able to set up some sodium. Now, again, sodium is not going to help your device if your device is a very low end device. <sighs> That is a big misconception, okay? A big misconception is that, hey, I have a really low-end potato. Is sodium gonna fix this? No, it's absolutely not. It's gonna help with accessing different features if you have like even the sodium extras and giving you the option to basically change things that you wouldn't be able to normally change on default Minecraft. Now I have, for some reason, my GUI popped up. Let's close out of that, there we go. And as I can see here, you can go to the quality, you can change like your cloud distance to two chunks, all the way up to 128 chunks it'll actually tell you what the performance impact is you can change like your weather yeah you can access some of this stuff inside of like default minecraft but you can also just turn off your biome blend all together entity distance turn that down if you want to entity shadows it does help with performance uh your mipmap levels yeah you can change that inside of uh your actual default minecraft i set this to decreased or you can do minimum or all um you can also download other mods obviously that help with basically getting less you know particles and stuff like that as well you can also turn them all off performance you don't really need to touch any of this i'm going to tell you that don't mess around with any of this stuff you don't need to it's more for pc related stuff but that's all about it make sure you click apply this also unlocks the ability to use shaders if you installed iris and you also should have the mod menu, obviously, but that's for the fabric video, which is in the description of the video below. Now, if you don't believe me that it works, well, we're gonna jump into a world really quick here, and I'm gonna show you that it works just fine. Again, this is a video showing you how to get sodium working, and this works for any mod packs that also require sodium. Like, there's some mod packs that have sodium already pre-installed and this will help with those working as well because some people are like oh this mod pack's crashing like fabulously optimized for example that mod pack crashes and that's because it has sodium and you need podium with amethyst and that's only for amethyst and that's just because the developers basically kind of deleted the option to allow sodium to work but again i think we should be able to use this if we want to, and if you want to mess around with swimming in a pool of lava. Have a nice day. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and share this video with other people that want to learn how to use Sodium with Amethyst, which is a great launcher for Android to play your legally obtained copy of Java Minecraft. Google your own stuff, YouTube. Bye-bye!